Namaskar. One day, a sage went to the river to bathe. After his bath, he noticed a scorpion struggling in the water. The sage knew that scorpions cannot swim and if he did not save the scorpion, it would drown. And so, he carefully picked up the scorpion. The sage rescued it from drowning and was just about to set it down gently on land when the scorpion stung his finger. Instinctively in pain, the sage flung his hand and the scorpion went flying back into the river. As soon as the sage regained his composure from the sting, he again lifted the scorpion out of the water and again before he could set the scorpion safely on land, the creature stung him. This drama went on several minutes. A nearby hunter watched as the saint carefully lifted the creature out of the water only to fling it back in as he convulsed in pain from each fresh sting. Finally, the hunter said to the sage, forgive me for my frankness, but it is clear that the scorpion is going to continue to sting you each and every time you carry it to safety. Why don't you let it drown and just give up? The sage replied, my dear child, the scorpion is not stinging me out of malice or evil intent. Just as it is water's nature to make me wet, so it's scorpion's nature to sting. He doesn't realize that I am carrying him to safety. That is his level of consciousness which his brain can achieve. But just as it is the scorpion's nature to sting, so it is my nature to save. Just as he is not leaving his nature, why should I leave my nature? My dharma is to help any creature of any kind, human or animal. Why should I let a small scorpion rob me of the divine nature which I cultivated through years of sadhana? Wisdom of the story, many a times it happens we are insulted by our friends, colleagues or boss. Sometimes these acts are subtle, a friend who unexpectedly betrays us or who we find has been secretly speaking negative about us behind our back. We feel angry and agitated. We just want to take revenge. In result, we slowly find that our own actions, words and thoughts become driven by anger and pain. We find ourselves engaged in cunning thoughts of revenge. And before we realize it, we are injuring ourselves by negative emotions dominating us. Our dharma and eternal nature is to be kind, honest, loving, giving, sharing and caring to whoever comes across our life. Others may act with selfishness and deceitfulness due to ignorance, lack of understanding or due to the way in which their karmic drama is unfolding. But we must not let their actions or their ignorance deprive us of our positivity and happiness.